Who knows what the dungeon has in store, so without further ado, let's get ready. And hop right into it, shall we? Oh, good old megahertz. Hey, Thelphon, how's it going? You been enjoying the new update at all? Oh, I should have come up with a, a clever name of sorts before starting stream today. Son of a gun. Well, we'll see how it goes in a minute or two here, I guess. But first and foremost, we have to decide how we want to start this, because I do plan on probably creating a bit of a hybrid character. But do we want to start with fighter? So we have decent armor, we start with the shield, we start with an axe as well, all pretty advantageous things. Or start with spellcasting, because that will at least ensure that we have some, some options from the spell side of things. Teacher at the start of a new school year, you admired in prep and marking, didn't know there was a new update? Totally fair. Yeah, my partner's a teacher, so I can definitely fully sympathize with you on that. I'm sure it's been pretty hectic. It's been good though, new school, fresh start, your own room, good classes, that's awesome. That's always a, a pretty huge thing, when you finally kind of get your own room, you're happy with all of your classes. You know, students will always be goofballs, but but at least uh, a good start. So I'm very happy to hear that. That's awesome. Um, but yeah, I guess Reaver is also a bit of a, a worry mage start, so we could try that out. You know what? Let's start there. It's, it's thematically fitting. We're probably going to be leaning into necromancy. I'm hoping that we'll end up worshipping the new Yered here. We can hold that black torch high and see how it goes. So, so let's start off here and we'll, we'll see what's cooking, shall we? And now we're on to the name. Let's go with Durin Necro Shield. I was trying to think like, kind of blending, merging traditional orc names with something to do with uh, what we're aiming for here. Let's just go with Necrom, sure. I do like Dwarfinski as well, very fitting to say the least, but we'll start off here for now. This is our, our experimental foray. We usually end up losing these. It's the warm up just to get the, the juices flowing here, the synapses firing as it were. So let's start there and we'll see how it goes. I think I do want to immediately be training some axes. Uh, dodging can definitely go for now. Fighting will stay on as usual. Because the question becomes, do we want to kind of mainline fighting for the early game, right? Because we need to just get through the early dungeon here. It's usually a pretty solid start. We can find ourselves some heavy armor as we get going. Because of course, on the spellcasting side of stuff, Momentum Strike and Hailstorm are available to us, and we already know Kiss of Death. So this will drain some on us and on enemies, but it's pretty solid damage. I maybe want to get that at least to a castable point. So let's learn a bit of Necromancy. And sure, a bit of Conjurations as well. Oops, let's try that again here. And conjurations just to a, a solid three because we'll get those pretty quick and we'll I guess just see how it goes from here let's not waste too much of our time early on until we have a little bit more of a, a feel for how things are gonna go here last but not least we'll of course dump that morgue pile come over to the second monitor let's grab that seed just in case any of you lovely folks are playing along at home and wish to see how you fare in the dungeon here Okie dokie. Orc name merged with Mountain Dwarf. Grug MD. <laughs> I like it, I like it. We'll go with an MD uh, epitaph or title in the next one. If there is next one, I mean, for all we know, this uh, new Mountain Dwarf will synergize with my playstyle perfectly, and it's not something that we'll uh, have to worry about. But only time will tell here. But let us... use our drain to get rid of the quokka they're the scariest of the enemies there which you know isn't saying a lot when it's just a little baby quokka but 
anything to stay alive in the early dungeon here. And there we go. We finally see slightly heavier armor. So we can swap to that bad boy right away here. Of course, in general, with Mountain Dwarves, I'm pretty sure our main aptitudes for spellcasting are looking at Necromancy with the plus one there. And I think Fire Magic is also pretty solid. Yeah, plus two aptitude on Fire Magic. So maybe just maybe we'll get that Gold Dragon Scales Ignition run going here today. No promises. We'll have to see what the dungeon has in store for us, but could be nice. Ooh, speaking of could be nice, a Phantom Mirror nice and early on here. I could start buying some random scrolls as well. They're quite cheap here, so let's keep that in mind as we gain a, just a little bit more cash. We can probably come back and take advantage of some very, very cheap merchandise there, which would be lovely. Hello, my bad friend. And here we go. Slightly heavier armor and the ring and spell book could definitely set our pace. I mean, a ring of fire is not too bad. And ooh, ice magic. I mean, we're not completely built Oh my gosh, I'm hitting all the wrong keys. It's not completely built to be cast in ice magic. Minus one aptitude is not great. But Frozen Ramparts works quite well as a kind of utility spell to tack on top of an already solid fighter here. So something, I guess, to keep in the, the back of our mind as a potential option. Kiss of Death has gone up to 24% failure with the switch to our heavier armor, but that's not the end of the world here. Grug is a brain surgeon. Grug, good operate brain. Open up many skull very fast. <laughs> Truly a generational talent when it comes to uh, the degloving of a brain. No one does it quite like good old Grug MD. But okay, here comes our first critical moment here as we hit level three and have to decide where we want to set, uh, spend our points. Because we're probably going to be fairly hybrid. The initial temptation, the easier path, is probably to lean a bit heavier into strength. You know, aim to just be grabbing utility spells as we go on. But a higher intelligence does definitely give us a bit more leeway, a bit more freedom to be casting higher level spells, despite the, uh, the encumbrance of whatever we're wearing later on. So there's something to be said for that. Of course, having strength up to a certain point is also recommended, even though our magical encumbrance is halved as a mountain dwarf. We're still going to be working against that for a lot of the run if we want to be wearing like plate armor or heavier. And so maybe we'll start off with strength because that will kind of imbue us with a, a bit of an easier time learning magic. And then we'll pivot a little bit later here. Ooh, me oh my. Okay, random energy, saving our, our skin there slightly. Because I'm not really ready to be fighting a couple of gnolls. Okay, and even better now that we've left the one in the dust. Have all of my... Oh, I haven't played a spellcaster in the new update yet. We don't have any of our macros. So let's definitely just set these up real quick if you don't mind of course nothing too crazy going on here we usually just get our first four spells on quick easy macros at some point down the road i'll have to set up my other fancy ones but i think that i'm pretty happy with that for now and let's try to just very quickly suck the life out of you and we murder you as well. What the heck are you wielding? A hammer. Well, I guess when you wield a hammer, everything's a nail. So do you have to take care of them? And okay, there's the, the source of the hammers, of course. Um, in our usual strategy here, we won't go in there and wake up UF. We'll let them chill out for a bit here. Stay asleep. Ah, uh, and... That is pretty wild to see. A distortion branded dagger. Very early on. We missed <laughs> all of our poison darts at the 40%. I don't really want to face this buddy the old fashioned way. But I guess if we immediately resort to our spells, the issue is I kissed of death quite a bit to beat those gnolls. So our drain is not looking fantastic 
at the moment here, to put it lightly. I mean, maybe if I could get Momentum Strike online, I could come and fight this buddy again. Because the intelligent move here is probably to beat a little bit of a, a retreat for the moment here. Let's head back to our stairwell. And we'll just come down another one for now. I don't really want to skip the rest of floor two. We have quite a bit left to explore and we need to work off the, the drain deficit that we've put ourselves under here. So with that in mind, we'll start off with uh, trying to explore the rest of the floor here. Unfortunately, we don't get the rolls right away. 17% failure on Kiss of Death, still worth it to just try and get the early kill. We're down to 14 HP, which is not great by any stretch. <laughs> so we're hoping that we can work off a little bit of our deficit with the remainder of the floor here. Otherwise, we might be setting ourselves up for a, uh, you know, at best, a, let's say, rough Dungeon 3. Especially as we immediately run into a null pack. That's what you want to see here. I mean, do I drain myself more? I can't afford to. But we could just die in one hit. This son of a gun is hitting up to 11, even with our 8 armor class. It's not looking great, folks. So maybe I do risk it. We're down to 11 health now. Different stairwell, please and thank you. Oh, preferably an unexplored one, seeing as how all of our vision there was encompassed by our, our null friends. Okay, a single pat is a little bit preferable. Could I get some enemies? I believe that I've already kind of put ourselves into a, a non-enviable position, shall we say? At least this buddy just has a club, so we're gonna try to kill them, naturally. Perfect, if we can heal up before facing a second one. We did go up to 13 HP, hurrah. <laughs> oh, and this son of a gun is going to hit us with some opportunity attacks, but as long as we can step away, it's not the end of the world. Holy moly, this ended up being a bit more of an intensive start. Oh, this bat is definitely going to be a problem. I was trying to find a nice like corner I could hide behind, something like this. Unfortunately, our friends here not really wanting to play ball, but if I can get the the bat to follow me upstairs, perfect. That at least kind of gets the job done. I don't have any true blind corners here, so this is the best I can do. Unfortunately, the knoll is a bit more intelligent than I was, I would like, rather. I mean, do I just go back down to 11 HP? It's the only way to kind of semi-guarantee our survival, so I guess we do it. Okay, Kiss of Death, turns out, is a little bit of a, uh, a trap. <laughs> So we're definitely going to be finding ourselves in a little bit of a uh, struggle here, especially if I get poisoned. Oof, that's going to take out a huge chunk of our HP, but we do get the kill on both of them, bringing us back up to 20 whole health. We're playing Mountain Dwarf on hard mode. We're doing our best, like, uh, Bailage cosplay as we go through here. Amulet of Magic Regeneration, I mean, not exactly what I'm looking for, but I'll take it. And ooh, almost lethally poisoned with a single stab of Venomous Weapon. Again, not grand, but, but we're working on it. We're getting there. And can I beat you, my friend? Oh, son of a gun. It's looking like it will require a slight kiss of death there. <laughs> so again, we're we're playing on the edge here. We're definitely uh, at a razor thin margin when it comes to our, our potential continued survival. But hey, we'll do our best to get through this slight hiccup period. Because at the end of the day, all was in the, uh, the essence of survival. Ooh, I'm lethally poisoned. 
So I guess we're going to start chugging. We get a magic potion. That's not going to do it. Potion of resistance. Too little, too late. And last but not least, some mutation. Yikes. So what did we learn from this? I mean, Kiss of Death lives up to its name. It's definitely a bit of uh, an interesting magic spell to play around at the start of your run here but maybe if we didn't run into a knoll a small knoll pack on dungeon two we wouldn't have dug ourselves into quite the pit that uh, we ended up with there so with that in mind let's go from the start i think i will try reaver again i didn't mind it but this does give us the opportunity to go in with grug md the best skull splitter on this side of the dungeon. Zot, look out. And we'll do a fairly similar start uh, to what we just had going there. So let us just set up a few of these skills in advance. Auto pickup as per usual. This time around, I'm not going to be worrying too, too much about the uh, Shapeshifter items being automatically picked up, seeing as how we'll be in heavy armor. Hopefully, fingers crossed. So, we can kind of aim for that in our future here. But, of course, we will still grab that seed because this dungeon will be, I tell you what, the greatest dungeon, the greatest RNG the world has ever seen. Maybe a doctor will have a better time with personal health management. Exactly. A, a better understanding of the potential risks of an over-reliance on Kiss of Death. I mean, it's it's an entire chapter in the, uh, the educational program that our Mount Dwarf had to go through here. So one would hope that they have a slightly better uh, grasp on things. Not the best start for us here, but don't need to go running to Kiss of Death yet. Again, we're trying to learn from our mistakes. We need to to really let them sink in. It's the old brain stem here. But fortunately, we're able to get through without needing to overly rely on our give and take magic. So that is fantastic. Five poison darts also gives us a slightly better go at things when it comes to trying to Peter down, attack some enemies as they make their approach, and two spell books. Why does your mom let you have two spell books? I mean, Fugue of the Fallen, this is something that we were 100% having our eye out for. This is a spell that is essentially built for a hybrid character, so we can kind of just throw that on as we continue to, uh, to slaughter things manually up close. So that is fantastic. Won't have it up online for a little while here yet, but something to keep an eye out for. No armor this time around. Let's double check that. Yeah, just leather. That's not the end of the world. Let us try to poison you, Jessica. I'm tempted to fugue, or not fugue of the fallen, sorry, but rather to use the kiss of death. Fortunately, the game hands us the, the minor victory before that becomes a consideration, so that's fantastic. And hopefully, that's a bit of a uh, an omen for what is to come here in this run. You know, we've set the pace, and maybe, just maybe, we won't get ourselves down to 11 HP with, with Kiss of Death this time. But you know, I say that, and then Terrence comes around the corner. So at least one Kiss of Death is probably a pretty solid idea there. I do believe... You know, in retrospect, after killing our friend there, that Yured is, new Yured, is specifically happy when you kill Uniques. So I'm curious if there's any kind of meta strategy for keeping Uniques alive, or if that's been accounted for and kind of built in as not, not counting as a real Unique if it comes in a, a delayed fashion like that. Usually DCSS devs are pretty solid about covering their bases there. Things like Gozeg, if you ignore picking up money, the game knows that you're trying to be a sneaky little son of a gun and will uh, account for it accordingly. But 
I guess let's not worry about too much for now. We'll play this one kind of naturally. And then we can worry about high level shenanigans a bit later on. Didn't realize this was gonna be an entire pack of gnolls. So I'm gonna take a lot of damage running away, especially since our spear friend there got lucky with some random energy. There we go. If we can just fight you sons of guns one at a time, that would be ideal. Fantastic. I mean, good start there as well. Switching up into the heavier armor from Terrence right before we ran into the null pack was pretty much our only saving grace. Otherwise, that likely would have been a, a bit of a nightmare scenario to navigate. The very least, it would have required a, uh, a kiss of death or two. You know to really cement in any chance of survival but fortunately not something we have to deal with here today and we get a little bit of a uh a safer start at the very least a more straightforward start i think would be safe to say but let us continue onwards and upwards for for honor and glory here and ooh, even finding a nice early scarf of harm. Not what I was hoping for. A scarf of resistance this early on would have just absolutely slayed, but hey, it is what it is. And now with you, my devilish friend, definitely aim to get the, the constriction off, or sorry, the paralysis off, give you a taste of your own medicine. In fact, we're gonna double down on that just to avoid any potential uh, nightmare outcomes, throw on those boots. Uh, no, we will not continue putting on the boots as our enemies close in around us. Thank you, game. There we go. Ooh, wow. Quite the, uh, the statement piece, those boots. A nice deep velvety purple, a royal purple, if you will. Setting ourselves up nice and right for our uh, continued trekking through the dungeon here. You know, you need to make an impact, make a bit of a splash when you show up. 